was a bit overwhelming, but also really great because we have you know, incredible writers, incredible cast, and it was just really great to be. Oh, someone fell. Uh, <laughs> it was it was nice to be bombarded with good news. I don't think that happens very much, so it's. That was really nice. I just feel like Lucia, Jen, and Paul are so incredible that it always felt like something really special mm -hmm. when we were making it. Like, I didn't, I honestly didn't have any doubts only because they've been so amazing with us. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that, that was very helpful to know that the people Doing good we were, hands. Yeah, yeah. People we're seeing and working with every day were really good at what they do. Also, just like the behind the scenes of the show is so incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, we had, we had to shoot in a bubble, like, COVID wise. So, like, like everything was like super protective and then for people to think that we really did shoot everything in Las Vegas but yes. really it was like very safe little spots downtown LA for the most part like it that, that just speaks to how good everyone did to make the show feel grand and, and big so yeah it was really cool but it felt very validating when people also loved it like even though we were in a really amazing hands and I knew it was special the first time someone else saw it, it was like, oh my god, yeah, like, I'm very proud of everyone in yeah. it. One of my favorite parts of the show is the moment where Deborah is saying, like, it is really hard, it's not just enough to be good, you have to really, because it is, you're really, it's hard, and it is, you have to really love it to keep doing it, and it's just so rewarding, but yeah, they do a really good job of portraying it. It was the most fun I've ever had. I think I belong <laughs> on a bus on the top deck every day. Mm -hmm. With DJ Bob. DJ Bob was DJ amazing. DJ yeah. Bob was I can attest to DJ Bob is amazing and it was the most fun Meg's ever had. Yeah. It, <laughs> DJ Bob was playing songs I've never heard of, covers of things I've heard of and different singers are singing them. It really feels good to be back, you know, after quarantine just doing what we're used to doing. Yeah. Bringing heart to the characters is something that's very important to the showrunners and to us and to the writers and so I'm really glad that people are picking up on that and that they're finding hope in these uh, sometimes ridiculous circumstances, sometimes hilarious circumstances, and sometimes very emotional human stories. And I think all the characters are really authentically them. Like, I think Kayla is very true to herself, even if she's screwing things up. She's like, uh, this is who I am. <laughs> As a writer on the show, like, and doing stand-up, it was very, like, important to us in the room that, like, it felt real that even someone in comedy could attest to that being like how things actually are. I'm gonna be in there pitching long, big arcs for Ray, <laughs> but hopefully we find out what Ray's last name is. That's what yes, I'm that is kind of leaving everyone on a cliffhanger with that. So yeah, we'll see what happens with Ray season two. I'm just hoping that he gets more of those opportunities and takes them as opposed to, you know, just going with whatever Deborah's going with. But honestly, I'm just excited for whatever they come up with and however we get to continue this character would be great by the way. I don't think you think about topping it. I think about think about just continuing mm -hmm. continuing what works and continue telling the story. And they're very interested in the emotional development of these characters. So that's I think that's the priority. We just put a priority on making the stand up feel as realistic as possible and just seeing the like process of how the act becomes a, a true like cohesive thing, you know? Like there's a lot of shows on TV like Lots of shows about stand-up, but we wanted to just kind of see more about like the the process of it and how you know we emphasized actually just like these characters interacting and how their interactions were became part of the her show. It was a task to like she's she's a professional comedian, so everything she says has to be like objectively funny, you know. So yeah, it's very hard, and I hope we did it. <laughs> 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 the writers did such a good job with Kayla and it's just the most fun to play so it's just very easy to be silly in the part because it's so well written and and uh, she's too good of a time and she doesn't care who knows it <laughs> 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 but yeah it's a really fun character <laughs>